It has been a difficult year for all assets. Uh, I think every major asset class has depreciated this year. And uh, I think the primary reason is uh, the Federal Reserve's very tough stance against inflation. Uh, and uh, we believe it, uh, it is somewhat overdone. Uh, but one thing we know for sure is the Federal Reserve is going to make sure that inflation is not a problem. And inflation, if inflation is not a problem, that should be very good for ARC's innovation strategies. Uh, nonetheless, uh, this year, the Fed has been fighting inflation um, and is is fighting it much in the way that uh, uh, Chairman Fed uh, Reserve, uh, Federal Reserve Chairman Volcker fought it in the early 80s. Um, now, in the early 80s, Chairman Volcker was facing an inflation problem that started 15 years earlier in uh, 1964 with the Vietnam War and the Great Society social spending programs. That was a 15-year problem that he was uh, facing and combating. In our view, the Fed is facing a 15-month battle, not a 15-year battle, all because of COVID and supply chain problems, and then the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Uh, and we believe that uh, the Fed's very strong stance against inflation will work. It's already working. We're seeing commodity prices at the top of the pipeline dropping dramatically. Iron ore prices down 60%. Lumber prices here in the United States down 60%. The oil price down 40% plus. Uh, copper prices down 30, 35%. The gold price. The gold price peaked two years ago in August of 2020. Many people do not recognize that. It peaked two years ago. It's been in a trading range from 1,700 to nearly 2,100 for two years, and now it's broken down. So all of these price indicators are saying the Fed will be, is being successful. Uh, but the Fed wants to see employment go down, and it wants to see the headline CPI in the US go down from 8.3% year over year to 2%. We believe that because of the massive inventory building that has taken place over the last year, uh, such that Nike's inventories are up 44% when their sales are only up 3%, which sounds very much like Walmart and Target and Home Depot and Costco. The best supply chain managed companies in the world have big inventory problems. The consumer is pulling back, so they will have to cut prices aggressively. So we think the Fed will find out in the next few months that inflation is coming down very rapidly. They'll probably find out during the holiday buying season as inventories force liquidations at lower prices as the consumer is pulling back in response to a weaker economy.